What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm currently in the garage. It is 9 p.m. right now. Um, just did some errands, ate dinner, and now I am in the garage. And what I'm currently doing is getting the RE30s ready to get the tires mounted because I actually did pick up tires. Boom. So I picked up Falcon Azenis. These are 25540 17s and they're wider than these because these are 24540s, but it's not like so much better on these because these are 17s. I really cannot wait to get the tires mounted. I'm doing them tomorrow in the morning. I want to wake up early, hit a discount tire right away, have them mounted. And I do need to put the camera kits on the car. I actually picked up camera kits for the front and the rear because these with the new tire setup and the height I want to sit at, it's not going to work with factory arms because the front of my car doesn't have camera kits and the rear doesn't either. But what I am currently doing is putting on the valve stems. Huge shout outs to John over at OEM Plus. He's the one that actually provided me these wheels and got me Ray's valve stems. We're installing them right now, really simple. I took off the cap. But if you guys never seen like these valve stems before, they're really neat because the bushings down below are the rubber grommet. And then these two, well this top one comes out. And then you got this one and then this washer. And they just see that washer sits right here perfectly. And if you ever have folks or rays and use the proper valve stems, they look so much better with the aluminum valve stems versus using like a rubber one. And it just has this little spot for the washer, which let me show you guys. I felt like I made a video about these already before because I've owned so many folks, but you just put it into the hole. Just like that. Uh, I'm just gonna fall down because I don't have the nuts. Uh, hold on, one second. Hard filming with one hand. So, you can see that little washer sits down there. This just screws on all the way. And then the Schrader valve is included when you get valve stems from Ray's or wherever you get your um, things at. Oh, almost there. It's really hard with one hand. All right, so. There we go. Now to put a, um, the best size socket I found for this is 916, so standard. And then down here, you just put a flat head in between these and you just tighten it with a socket or wrench, whatever you want to do. And then keep your valve caps at home because sometimes tire shops do lose it, and especially if you have like expensive valve stems, you want to make sure that you don't lose it at all. So I normally just bring my wheels with without the valve caps because I don't trust um, whoever's putting on the wheels. You just never know. They're really small, they can lose them. These are all done. I have one in the car right now, so I'm gonna throw it all in the car, load up the car, and then tomorrow morning, head out in the morning, and then get these mounted. But yeah, Falcon Azenis, RT615Ks, 255s. I wanna get nine Kangs, but to me it just made no sense because I do put a lot more miles on this car. This isn't really like my hatch where like, I left it in the garage, I drive on weekends here and there. This one I do drive it on a daily basis. So I think a Zenius was the best choice and there's a good looking tire because the sidewalls are really, really flat. They're not bubbly. But yeah. All right, so got two in the back, one below, one in the front seat. Not the nicest, but it works. So, all right, time to go take a shower edit some videos, and then get ready to install this. I'll show you guys the camera kits tomorrow, they're in the living room, I haven't opened them, but I went with Godspeed because the rears come with spherical bearings versus like every other brand like car race and stuff. And it just made no sense not to get Godspeed because spherical bearings. But, sheesh, oh, I need to go get a jack and jack sense tomorrow because I don't have anything here and I need to do an oil change. What's up guys, it is the next day. And I have good news and I have bad news. Good news is I got the tires mounted on the RE30s. Bad news is two out of the four wheels, the guy that mounted the wheels, they scratch the wheels and pretty much mess up the paint. Um, 
and I went to an American Tire down here in Lake Forest because I wanted to kind of go to a shop that kind of uh, have like, you know, like know what they're doing kind of, but I guess they don't. But I told them like, hey, I want you guys best tech to mount these tires onto these wheels. These are not cheap. And these have been painted by my friend Carlos down at SC and then John acquired it from OEM Plus and then I got them. And it's not the painter's fault. Carlos does an amazing job by painting wheels and literally it's the guy that mounted the wheels. At first I was sitting inside, I saw the guy mounting the wheels or you know putting the tire on and then um, on the machine with that arm that goes out and I saw him struggling, right? So I was like, oh, he probably just, it's probably because they're 255s or something. But it appears that he scratched the wheels and yeah, it sucks because like normally if you start seeing something scratch, you should stop. Like you don't keep going because it'll make it worse. And these, this one, this one's perfect. This one, you can kind of see right here, the paint kind of came out. Because these aren't powder coated. You don't want to powder coat wheels. Also, under understand how there's nicks right here. Um, this is the worst one. As you can see, straight down to Pierce, either, I think the primer. Uh, so that really sucks. And I wonder if Carlos still has kind of like the paint coat. I think he knows the paint coat and what color you're painting these. But they're very, very identical to Mac Blue. But what I'm gonna do is provide them an invoice because they asked me to provide them invoice and they'll pay it. So, gotta get two of the wheels repaired, but kinda sucks. Imagine if I didn't get these paint, imagine if they're just like, fresh out of the box, Maglu RE30s. They're, they were saying that, you know, the paint could be soft. Yeah, I know it could be soft, but at the same time, these have been painted a while ago, and I do know even freshly painted wheels, or even brand new wheels, you can still do this if you're not careful. But, that happened, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm gonna just, Work it out with them, they're gonna give me a call and I'll deal with it. But we're still gonna mount this on the car, and they look really good with the 255s. I also did go to Harbor Freight because I don't have a jack or anything here. I picked up a two ton jack, that's like 125 bucks. Um, jack stands because you know, you need jack stands. I got this. Um, if you guys don't know, this is probably like one of the best tools you can get for separating like a ball joint or anything that requires a hammer. I have a hammer to knock off like the front upper control arms and stuff off of the um, knuckle, but you never know when you need this, and this is like only 20 bucks. I just bought it just to have. And I just bought some wrenches because I don't have any, and then a small little breaker bar just because the only toolkit I'm using is this Craftsman toolbox, which does its job, has all the like the stuff, you know, but. On 3.8 ratchets, especially if it's like a big bolt that's really like tight, you don't want to use this because you're gonna break the the gears inside of the wrench or the ratchet. All right, a couple hours passed. Got a haircut, run some errands, doing the laundry now. Uh, set up the new jack from Harbor. Not a fan of the red. I do miss the silver one, but whatever, has to work, right? <laughs> blue jack sands. They didn't have the black ones, and all well, the blues right here. What I'm gonna do first is jack up the car, test fit the wheels, and most likely they are not gonna clear. It might clear the rears, I'm not too sure, but um, if they don't fit after I put them on the car and the front and the rear, then we're gonna go ahead and install the camera kits. So regardless, I need to install the camera kits because I kinda wanna be at a lower height compared to this. We're gonna get rid of this gap. Same with the rear. So we're gonna be lowering the car, I need more camber. It's gonna look really good especially on these. And I hit up Carlos on what the color code is when he painted them. So he gave me the color code and then I'm going to get some paint and just touch it up for now while I work with the tire place on getting pretty much some money back because they scratched the wheels. So yeah, the camera kits are right here though. Let's bring it inside. All right, put it right there. Those are Godspeed, like I said. The rears are spherical. True hard Godspeed, Megan Racing, all looks the same. I asked Gun 2 on the last car. Gun 2 is nice because you can you switch, 
Scuff's is nice because you can switch out the, the bushings if they're bad. Are right, we starting loosening this wheel? I'm loosening that wheel also. We're gonna put the RD30s on, drop it down, and see how it looks. Wheels are off. 18s versus 17s. Kind of looks the same as in height wise because the these are technically meteor because there's 255s. Woof. How are these holding up? They're holding up really good. The paint just got, you know, not the best, but you see out there the fronts don't have camera kits. Same with the rears, which is this, this, literally just this bolt right here. Should be a 17 mil under here, and then another 17 in there. And that's it. Camera kits in the front. Super easy to install. Take out this cotter pin, 17, and then two up top, and then one for the ABS cable. Well, one up there and one right here. Oops. All right, let's see what the RE30s look like. I really do need a tripod, so I guess we will uh, use we'll use this jack stand for now. Hopefully, that doesn't fall. I'm gonna get you like this. I don't like my current like this. That on that color looks amazing. It honestly doesn't look that bad with the red brambles. I was very like, wasn't sure about painting them red, but I decided to. If not, I think these look better on the car. Well, need camera kits. Wow. That thing looks so good. Mag blue on this color, or whatever blue this is, on this color is perfect. And they do stick out a lot more than these. These, when jacked up, they sit flush, but definitely I need to add camber. The rears, definitely the same, but let's put these on real quick. Put the leg nuts on, drop the card out, and see uh, how it looks on these. And then after that, we'll do probably one side, so we'll do the front camera kit, the rear, and then we'll do the other side, or I might just do both the fronts at the same time and then both for the rears at the same time. I don't know, but shouldn't take that long. But let's check out the camera kits real quick because we do need them. I think these are the rears. Angel told me to go with Godspeed because one is spherical bushing and literally the best. And it's cheaper too. So look at that. And I think these are like a hundred something bucks, like hundred ten dollars. It's cheaper than bushings, and spherical bearings in overall feel a lot better. And then I think the front camera kits. The only thing I'm not a fan of is how big these bolts are. But luckily, my car is not gonna be slam slam, so this will not most likely will not hit the shock tower. And also, I'm running pretty stiff um, spring rates. I think, you guys can't see, but there's Swift Springs in there. I think those are 14K. The rear, me looking at it now, actually, let me, oh shit, this shit's loose. I can't see it, but um, I'll probably look at it later. But those are probably like 10 or 12Ks. Uh, but, all right, slap the rear on, drop the car down, see what it looks like. Oh my god, look at that. Let's drop it down. Okay. Now that I think about it, it actually sits pretty damn nice. Without camera kits, I don't even know if I even need them. The rear needs to go down for sure though. The rears are super high. Of 
feel like the fronts more is like actually okay without camera kits. But I think I'm still gonna slap them in anyways because I think some front camera will look a lot nicer too. It's so straight. It's like no camera. Probably like a degree or two. It's a good looking color. All right, looks like uh, I'm satisfied. Rears have to go lower. I think the rears definitely will rub the fender liner. Uh, so I'm just gonna do the front camera kits real quick. It's gonna take too long. Like I said, two of these, boom. And I got that main one. And that's where that uh, tool that I got from Harbor Freight will come in handy if you ever need it. That works like a, this works amazing. If you don't have one, get one. But, dude, it's hot in this garage. This garage has no windows, nothing. That's why I have the doors open. But, wow. Fits pretty nice. Look nice though. All right. 